Hello and welcome to another walkthrough by Commander Rogden from Rogden Gaming. We are currently outside Blindcliff Cave as part of our Overworld Dungeons and Quest series, this time in relation to several quests in Markarth. What was that? There are three enemies in the following area, one that patrols the staircase, another two around this corner. There are a couple urns, well hidden in this little tent. After killing those three, if you continue up these stairs, you will find a light armor skill book, as well as a chest. Once you are finished, head back down into this broken tower. Once you've made your way outside and climbed up the tower stairs, you'll want to head up this ramp, and if you have it, you may wish to activate your invisibility power as rounding this corner will likely get you detected. Assuming that you manage to do this undetected, your enemy will be sitting in front of a staff that you can take. Once you have taken care of your enemies and crossed the bridge, you may head into the next area, where you will encounter a poor trapped hag raven, whom you can choose to rescue. Alternatively, you may simply kill her and take her reward from her body. Although it is somewhat amusing to have her tag along, you may as well set her free. To prevent yourself from being shot by trap arrows, activate the middle switch. Your hag raven friend will take care of the forsworn in the next room, and will deactivate this gauntlet beyond the gate. If she is not with you, you may simply pull this handle on the floor, and turn this lever from behind the wall. Before you pass through the alchemy lab, if you pull the switch on the corner, it will lead to a secret room with some extra goodies. Additionally, if you brought a pickaxe with you, you can mine two quicksilver ore veins. And finally, behind this door, you'll locate our target. If you decided to save Melka, she will provide you with your reward now, which is a staff of fireballs with approximately seven or so uses. You will also find a restoration skill book on Petra's body, and an illusion skill book on this pedestal. If you came here looking for her old dear shield, you'll find it in this chest. Before leaving, do not forget to hop down this area for some additional items. The next location we are going to explore is Lost Valley Redoubt. It is highly recommended you go through this area at night time, as there is a lookout on this tower, and many of the Forsworn in this area will easily detect you. If you take a right when you head up these stairs, you will find a few chests, as well as the top of the watchtower. There's a trap going up these stairs, and two enemies by this campfire. You may wish to kill them along with the rest of the camp, or use an invisibility power if you have one. Regardless of your choice, you may wish to head left up here for a few potions, an apothecary satchel, and this silver ore vein. Additionally, striking at them from this location is considerably safer. Once you have finished eliminating those enemies in whatever method you feel most comfortable, make sure to loot all the items as previously shown before heading up these stairs. When you finally come to this bridge, you will encounter two hag ravens and a briar heart. Eliminate them while they're doing the ritual, and this shouldn't be a problem. You will then be granted the ethereal word of power, Spirit, which should be the second one in your set if you have done the main quest line. 
Before leaving, do not forget to loot this table for some important alchemy reagents and other items. Additionally, if you came here for Haraftir's shield, it should be in this chest. While we are here, we will visit Cradlestone Tower for some extra treasure, <laughs> along with several alchemy reagents. Finally, we will come across this bridge to synchronize our viewpoint. Or maybe we'll just jump instead. And upon doing so, we'll be rewarded with an increase in your speechcraft skill. This completes our walkthrough for our Overworld Dun Blind Cliff Cape, and Lost Valley Redoubt. This is Commander Rugden. Thanks for watching.